Hey friends, welcome. We are here today to do some osteophonic massage for our bones of our face. When we age, our bones uh, disintegrate. <laughs> we lose bone. So in order to help fight that sagging, uh, droopy skin and facial wrinkles, we not only need to tone the muscles and the fascia, of the face and move the lymphatic system, we need to support our bones. And I have a much longer version of this protocol where I explain the ins and outs of a tuning fork or using your thumbs or acupressure and why and how it works and all that. So you can check out that video where I go a lot slower as well. It's a lot longer video and follow along with me today for a shorter version. We're gonna just go through the jaw, the cheekbone, the orbit area, and the frontal bone. You can use your thumbs for finger pressure, reminding you that you can use pressure like this. Um, you're gonna wanna hold a little bit longer if you're using acupressure, at least 30 seconds to a minute. Um, I do need to give a disclaimer. We don't treat, cure, prevent, diagnose disease. If you have uh, a jaw line or jaw bone that is too brittle, or um, any eye diseases or TMJ where you are, um, you know, it's getting uh, dislocated, anything like that. If you're not sure, talk to your doctor. Maybe uh, be sure and have a professional perform this technique for you. You don't want to cause yourself any more harm. You don't want to have any bruising. If you're bruising or feeling too sore afterwards, you're doing too much. So um, with that said, make sure your face is clean and dry. And if you have dry skin, you can put a little face balm, like a nice amount, but not too slick. You don't want it to be too slippery, especially if you're using a tuning fork. You don't want to, you know, drop it <laughs> or have it slip out of your hands like that. Make sure your hands are clean. You can always wear gloves. And um, so uh, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. You know, like the uh, video so that I know that this is useful for you. So with more. Let's just go ahead and um, get started. And we're going to start the occiput here. Moving on to the mastoid bone, just below the ear. And on my left side. You want to go along the jawbone. Kind of underneath. Pressing up under. It also can be tightening your skin as well, but it's this is for the bones here. I kind of find it easier to maybe go ahead and do the other side. The occiput. When the tuning fork dies down, you can move on to the next spot, the mastoid. Reminding you, using acupressure, you're going to be spending a little bit more time because you don't have the vibration of the osteophonic weighted tuning fork. 128 hertz. And now I'm just taking it on top of the jawbone, starting with the ear. Just moving increments along here. And you can use your other hand just to make sure you don't have any wrinkling. right in the center of the chin. 
sides, side to center. Go ahead and do just below the nose on the upper maxilla here area. I'm going to be going under the cheekbone and maybe kind of level with the pupil and kind of pressing up just a little. Level with the outer corner of the eye. I've just moved over a little bit, still underneath that cheekbone. Up next to the nose. I'm putting pretty good pressure, but it's it might be tender, but it's doable, it's not painful. Again, I'm not causing myself any more harm or pain or bruising. And now I'm going across the zygoma, the uh, cheekbone that goes all the way over to the ear. And then below the jaw, and then above it. Might be tender, especially if you grind your teeth <laughs> or clench. And then I'm going right in that little dip, the temple bone right here. So we lose bone in the temple, as well as the eye sockets. Starting here. You see, I can rest my elbow and I'm pressing the inner corner here. It can be tender. This gives you a nice lift as well. under the eye and be gentle on the skin there that's pretty delicate and I'm just on the orbital ridge here but again kind of using the other hand to make sure that you don't wrinkle or you don't want to pull down too much on the eye inner corner here of the nose and then let's do uh, the other side. You can see how that eye is actually so much more lifted. <laughs> Underneath the cheekbone. Underneath, a little more outer. Going along that cheekbone. All the way to the ear. You're going to want to do the temple. Coming back to the eye, in the corner of the eye.
your nose. You know, just going around and below the lower orbital ridge. Center. And now I'm on the end of the eyebrow, so I'm going to be going along the top of the eyebrow. See, before we were below it and lifting up, and now I'm just lifting with my other hand, but going across the top. end of the other eyebrow and on top of the eyebrow center of my forehead just above the pupil of my eye other side Just kind of going across the forehead this way. Center. Just going around now the uh, periphery here of the scalp. There you have it. So that is just one idea, one thing you can do for an, a, a holistic facial rejuvenation. And I'll see you next time.